so good to see so many people come out, even in the rain, you know. How much do you guys love the Lord? It's awesome. So um, is it just me, just a quick poll, is it just me with communion? Do you find yourself going through seasons with communion? Like there's a bit of a theme going on, something that no matter what's being set up the front, there's just something, you know, that, that's just being spoken to you. So um, I'm just going to share just a season. This is a while ago. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I would sit there and just have my moment with the Lord and um, ask questions like, why? why? Why go to all this trouble? You know, why? Why, um, why go through with this whole deal? And then, and um, why, why um, are we left in this, this place with droughts and COVID and, and floods and all this stuff and why why are we left with all, all these people that that um, are still unsaved and uh, like, lots of questions like there's a thousand more questions right I'm sure other people must ask this stuff too right it's true and um, if you follow all the way down the, those different rabbit holes it just comes to love and then our response to um, to what's been done for us it's just amazing so after i've just gone through some questions i'm in this moment of of love there's just (laughs) yeah just this one moment in time you know jesus has just been praying through the night and he comes down to the disciples and he says get up my betrayer is here and then uh then the disciples get up they wander a bit further here's judas and um Judas has got a small group of of guys with him, uh, soldiers ready to arrest Jesus. And Jesus just, um, yeah. So while they're there, uh, Jesus says to Judas, do what you've come to do. And uh, Peter gets out with his sword. I don't think he's much of a swordsman. Uses it like an axe. And... uh, I think the, the soldier's taken a bit by surprise and is like, oh, what's going on? I don't know how the movie plays in your head. But, um, yeah, I'm thinking the soldier sort of moves to one side going, what's going on? And off goes his ear. So um, there's Jesus. <laughs> he just stops, heals the, the arresting soldier's ear. It's just amazing, right? And so he's healed the ear of the soldier who then later... After Jesus has died, that same soldier is surely this is the Son of God, depending on what version you've read, or this is the Christ. And uh, yeah, then he says to Peter, "You know what? If you um, if you use your sword or whatever, um, you can die by the sword anyway." He says some things along those lines. But what really gets me is the bit where Jesus says. Uh, at any moment, um, the Father could put at my disposal um, 12, was it, what did he say, 2,000 or two, um, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of angels, yeah, whole load of angels, <laughs> anyway, load of angels, and um, yeah, just at that moment, as, as, that's what gets me, is right there, because I, I just think back to the time when uh, Hezekiah was under siege and they had um, the king of Sirach, um Yeah, Sirach, I Sorry, microphones and me don't mix all that well, I'm, I'm afraid. But uh, there's... Um, yeah, so Hezekiah was under siege and uh, there was a vast army coming up there and they, Sennacherib is his name. He sent a, uh, a messenger... Uh, to mock Hezekiah and his people and tell them that, look, um, your God won't save you. Didn't save all those other nations that we've just taken over and um, you're under siege. Pretty much you're going to be eating your own filth. How is your God going to save you? And uh, um, Hezekiah lays out the letter on the altar to God and just cries out to God. And the answer is to destroy the vast army one angel so we don't get an idea of the vast army the resources of heaven 
just um, we think our nuclear weaponry of the world is, um, is pretty fearsome, but Jesus is just standing there. There's a couple of soldiers coming to arrest him. He's got all his weaponry at his disposal. And um, <laughs> he chooses Matty Brown. He chooses you and me. It's just, it's a crazy, crazy moment. So um, I'll just dwell on that for a few moments and then ask other questions like, what does this mean? And that's another season. So that's, um, yeah, that's the moment. So if you want to just stop and just receive the fact that he just loves you so incredibly, that I had this plan, yeah, Father and Jesus had this plan to save you. He loves you that much. He knows what you're like. He knows what I'm like and still went through this with this whole deal. It's awesome. So, Father God, we just um, thank you this morning just as we uh, remember what you've done for us. We just, um, as we take this, this uh, wine and this bread and just remember that you've set a table amongst our enemies. You have a plan and a purpose for us that you want us to... Um, Live out your great commission. And Lord God, Father, this morning I would ask in the name of Jesus that you empower us as we dine with you this morning around your table. So we just thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen.